ball They want you to like them on social media and real life But more importantly on social media What is up? You got the chicken head again. Yeah, because we fried the dolphins. Oh my god. What a can we restart now? Because what was it? <laughs> little bit we fried. Fried. Cold the beer dolphins. on a Sunday morning. Guten Tag. Uh yeah, man. Uh what a what a goofy that was a that was a win. It was a win. The Chiefs beat the, the uh Miami Dolphins. Did we and, hit the spread? Uh, with the help of our good friend Tyree Kill. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, I'll talk about that play later. That was the greatest defensive play I've ever seen, and my favorite play of all time. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Brian Cook. And yeah, you know, because like we had um Nick Bolton's out. Folks are having to step up and shift around. And yeah, Brian Cook. He's not Brian, Brian Cook and then uh yeah. and then uh uh gosh, what's his name? Uh the guy for the Chargers. I, I shouldn't be blanking on Frank him. Frank Wolf. Drew Tranquil, yeah. What a tranquility. Spot. What a tranquility. He had a big third down play where they tried the Dolphins are trying some trickaroo. And and uh but but Tranquil was like, uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just weird. It's weird after like six years of just watching terrible defenses or below average defenses. It's fun to watch a defense that's smart and does their assignments. Yeah, yeah, they just done enough research to know the tendencies of like the players themselves. It's yeah. not really what they're putting out there, but yeah, like what's also- their go to. And whenever you're able to impose your will on them, because in times of stress, we revert back to old habit. You know what I mean? So, and that's kind of how you get to that's what that's how people have really had success for getting to Mahomes is, is throwing his timing off. Whatever they yeah. can do to do that, uh, be disruptive. Um, but then you also got to run the risk of the backyard football improvisational razzle dazzle but then that's the ride receiving room chemistry <clears throat> conversation so yeah it's just really well, yeah we'll get to what that your tranquil did you're right i i uh it, they're playing sound defense well i'm trent and i are talking about we're going to recap the miami uh, dolphins game where the chiefs win 21 to 14 uh and, and they led 21 nothing at half but the, the game started out like fire right it had to because they got the kickoff. They weren't able to defer like they like to. So I know. they had to start I, I, off hot. They did that. first drive down the field to got a touchdown. Yeah. So and they actually scored twice. I don't know if you saw that, but the officials took it out of their like the officials had a bad game today because they they missed some calls against the the Dolphins. Uh, and the Dolphins actually I think were literally holding every play on defense. But. Uh, <laughs> But uh, Justin Watson scored a touchdown, and they they overturned it. And then the very next play, Rasheed Rice with a burst of speed, and it was a great play call against the Blitz. Seven other Chiefs, baby. Yeah, it was hot. It was hot. But then before the first half is over, sometime in the second quarter, we had the Tyreek Hill uh, fumble as McDuffie made a heck of a play. Yeah. Reeling it down, and then they tossed it off. The yeah. Chiefs actually had the ball like at the five yard line, and they drove ninety five yards. It, it was a great drive, great discipline drive. Um, touchdown to McKinnon, and uh, I think fourteen nothing. All right, just hold him here. It's what two minutes to go before the half. Hold him here, baby. And the Dolphins started to get some get some things going, and then our old friend shows up. Our old friend, by the way, he was like, man, they should have never traded me, man. They should have... You asked for a trade, dude. Who was the most <laughs> accurate quarterback in the NFL. Should... Yeah, right. And and uh, But but Tyreek Hill asked for a trade. He asked for this. All right. It, it, like he, it, there, there should be no chip on his shoulder because he asked for this and he's getting a lot of money. All right. And so, a lot of yards. Just not yeah. the game. And not no, we shut them down because we that for competent defense. But yeah, um, and also we we they that you don't think Spags has, has played against him in practice? Come on. Um. Anyways, so uh, Dolphins are driving, and then Tyreek Hill gets the uh, what is it? It's not even like a screen pass or whatever. He gets the pass and gets met as soon as he gets the ball. 
I to, to the point where it was close to being ruled an incompletion, but he caught it. And Trent McDuffie forces the fumble. Trent McDuffie, who, by the way, when the uh, the Chiefs traded Tyreek Hill after he requested to be traded, uh, they got that pick from the Miami Dolphins. And with that pick, the first-round pick from the Miami Dolphins, the Chiefs selected Trenton – I'm going to call him that – Trenton McDuffie. Wow. Who, who just Tommy forced the right fumble – and then, and then he forced the. And then what happened after that? Go ahead and take it because it, it was so fun. What happened? Brian, uh, Brian Cook, uh, you know, cooking it up. I don't know if he was the cooking hamburgers guy or not. Was that maybe Jalen Watson? But anyway, no, he took it to the house. They, was they so like cute. lateraled it to him as McDuffie was going down, and he, the beast that he is, who was in shape, prepared, ready for the game that day, blasted off and beat everybody down to the uh, end zone and got a defensive. Uh, he got the biggest run, the catch. He got the longest catch of the night. It's like sixty something yards. The biggest yard. play, and that that's, that's the, definitely the biggest play of the year so far for the Chiefs. I think, right? Like we can agree with that. Man, Our defense he, scored and kept yes, us in the game to where we didn't the, even have to like dig in the bag. We weren't in a point of like desperation or scarcity. Like we were able to remain calm, cool, and collective, and in mm -hmm. control. This game, so that was nice. Except you know, for our offense, not you know, blowing them out of the water. Right. Hey, three, three we'll tuds. get into that because there were some factors there that I'm going to blame the refs on because yeah. they missed some calls there. Yeah. Uh, but but uh, that yeah that play just great awareness by one McDuffie, two uh, Mike Edwards, three uh, Brian Cook, um, and love love it love it. Uh, my favorite play of the year, just because who it was against and all the, the crap that he talked and trying to paint himself as a victim when he himself wanted out of Kansas City. Eat it, Hill. Eat it, like it, taste it. Humble pie. Humble, humble pie. And, right, let's not do this revisionist history, okay? Don't go on your podcast and say, oh, yeah, you know, I could win. He's going to have to if he wants well, his money. I want, I want to stay in Kansas City, uh, but they didn't want me. No, we, we – I had that jet, jet lag. lag. They offered you a jet sweet. <laughs> jet, jet sleep. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, so like, uh, if you could like pull it up, what did Karloftis do? Because I really didn't see what. What did uh, Jorge? Uh, let's let's look that up. Uh, yeah. I'm not really sure because like like I know he was bringing it because like the defense like yeah they balled out the whole game. It almost seemed like. They were making the fucking defense. I'm sorry, I'm swearing here, wow. but like, 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 they almost like had to play down to their level because it was like worldwide. It's like, well, come on, you don't let them, don't let them down there. Easy, let the Miami Dolphins have something on the board, and then, but they never got down to the end zone like they needed to with the passing game. So that was dope. They, uh, they had that solid. They didn't. Um, there was, there was, uh, that was a fun half, and then the second half was just holding on but uh let me look up uh Karlofka's stats here um will it have it uh hmm, okay um but yeah no that's uh ooh, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. Well, I'm not. I'm not. I'll have to get back to you on that. Uh, you good? Can I pull them up here? Um, just cause. Uh, but I know that the defense in general, and especially the secondary, played really, really well. Um, now the the Chiefs were up twenty-one nothing at half, and I thought this is awesome. It's going exactly how it should, and then they just were. The second half, they, the Dolphins went three and outs. And then the next drive, I think, was the drive where the Chiefs could have gone up 28 to nothing. And uh, I was telling you uh, before we uh, went on um, that it was like, what, third and 10 or something? Mahomes scrambled for the first down. The, uh, the referees called it a holding penalty on uh, – um, what's his face? Um, 
Trey Smith, right? Okay. Well, but here's the thing. They just they, the refs missed an offsides call, and I thought that too. Yeah, yeah, they, they missed the offset. It was it should have been offsetting penalties. All right, at least have have us have a manageable third down. Ten, yeah. And so then it was like third and twenty, and Mahomes scrambled and he almost made it, um, and uh, and so that was uh, that was that was a fun. He like he scrambled and he om- like almost had it, but. I felt like that was the big drive of that game where, okay. And at that point, the defense was balling. So it's like, okay, go ahead and, and punt it. But don't, the Dolphins still have firepower on offense. So let's not play with that. So, um, but that they was, dared to, they called their bluff, which I think is interesting because it was literally like up until the fourth quarter, and even after the fourth quarter too. Cause like, yeah, they had that chance where they could go on fourth, but like, the fourth quarter was literally when they just buttoned up. They're like, okay, no more messing around. It's it's do or die defense. And they just brung it. Everything that they've been holding back, they they kept them in their place. It was crazy. And, uh, yeah. But like you said, it was mostly the offense. We're just frustrated with the offense. 21 points. And we're Chiefs fans. We're still frustrated because the offense is not performing up to their potential. But, uh, hey, no. we won. A lot of it too, though, is because anytime they try to get a drive going, uh, the the refs throw the flag and the holding. There's that too. Yeah, yeah. The, the um, they've gotten a lot. The offensive line has gotten a lot of penalties. Um, yeah. I even think Travis Kelsey had a penalty. I don't. Travis Kelsey wasn't much of a factor in this game, but um, was Taylor there? What's that? Was Taylor think, there? I don't know. I don't think so. I know like her and Brittany and like Selena Gomez were hanging out. Yeah, that's nice. So I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, and she should have. Been, she was going to be shown if she was, because there was no way they were going to miss that. But no, right. I don't think she was. Um, but yeah. Uh, and then also, just the as far as the offense goes, um, the third and one, the third and and it, it, it they're just it's ridiculous how stupid Andy Reid is with that and how dumb. And at some point, if you're Patrick Mahomes, you just QB sneak it. You just go, hey, listen, I know this is what he wants to call, but we're going to go ahead and QB sneak it. Um, because you're that hurts the team. Like, they're hurting the team by by doing stupid – like, not – I mean, you look at Philadelphia when they're third and one. Everybody knows what's coming, and they still get it. Um, so I don't know why, why – Andy Reid refuses to do a quarterback sneak. That would have ended the game. <laughs> Maybe that's why he got fired. No, I don't think that's why he got fired. Oh, okay. Well, he got um, fired because uh, his time was coming to end in Philadelphia. But um, glad it did. It's just it's it's ridiculous how dumb he can be sometimes, and how. What a great coach he is, but just have that big of a blind spot to see his faults on that and to not try to rectify it at all in that situation. So um, they still that still needs to, to, to happen. And and ironically, the Chiefs play the Eagles next because they have a bye. I think they play on Monday night. But uh, cool. But yeah. Um, bup, 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 bup. What are your thoughts though? Like on, on that, as far as the offense and which is just uh, uh just off a little bit. Yeah, it's still kind of getting its thing. Like they had that rhythm early on when they needed it the most. They they did set the tone, so that was cool. Um, you know, but they're still spreading the ball around. I think I looked; it was like you know they they got like over two hundred yards or so. I think like right under two fifty, but uh, um. And so, like, they were moving the ball effectively enough, and then they had that big defensive score that allowed them to not be in a point of scarcity. So that's then that, you know, changes your play calls when you're Andy Reid. And the sure, team. yeah. So, I, wish, um, I wish they'd be a little bit more aggressive, though. But, but then- yeah, they, they, they did make it interesting, and it was interesting enough for all this great publicity. But, yeah, I agree. It was just really frustrating there. 
in like the fourth quarter when it's like, come on, put the pedal down, put the pedal down. Ah! But you well, know. they they do. I just like people want them to, you know, we all want them to run the ball, but like. The way, they, the way they do it isn't like effective. Like they don't, I don't, I don't know. Like the way they had, it just seems like a lot of people are missing their blocking assignments whenever they run. Yeah. Um, They're not going to do too much. And, and so just run it up the middle, middle, I guess. Like what, what's, what's the harm in that on third one? Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. There's science. I'm not Andy Flippin Reed, who is a lineman expert. Because that's what he played. Sure, in. which is I, which I don't know. The whole I thing's so weird with that though. Why he's so bad at that short yardage? Because that's his kryptonite. Like he can't, he just can't get over that. Like it's like okay, but you know, it's the Chiefs still. They did everything. The defense, um, you know, and, and maybe they're playing to their strengths. But uh, I, you know, you would think the offense would want to, to do a little bit more than just try to punt it away every time in the fourth quarter to have our defense try yeah. to win the game because that's always risky, man. You, you know, you never know what can happen. So, um, so one of the other things I, I do want to admit though, cause it's like, you know, there's those frustrations that I have with the game, but then on the flip side, it's like, you look at all the other things that they did right in this yeah. and that they were more prepared. They were a lot more polished. The moment right. didn't get to them. It was just business as usual. Right. And the fact that they kept Tyreek Hill out of the end zone to do sure. whatever his tell touchdown celebration was, he didn't he didn't get that opportunity. Um, and so he's gotta live with that until he does that against the Chiefs. So right. there's that. That's fun. Yeah, no, it was a it was a huge win. This was a really big win. I hated the fact that this game in particular was in Germany. Um because uh, I wanted that crowd to be, but the crowd was pretty good in Germany. Um, they were home of the Jews. Yeah, so it was, but uh, but yeah, I I I, I was hoping the like game uh, would be in Germany. Yeah, what? sorry. Uh, did you feel like the tomahawk chop was off? The chant was off sometimes. Um, I wasn't really paying too much of attention, but like I don't think they. They're not used to that, right? It, they're they, they're, they're the used to singing happened. like, but I just kind of feel like, hey, hey, like, hey, hey, of hey. What? like they're, but then like as it got going and stuff, then it, yeah. it came out. But the Chiefs Kingdom showed out. Yeah, it was great. It was it was a, it was a big win because the Chiefs still have they're they're gonna have the one seed in the playoffs. Uh, they're still in great position there, so they're seven and two, and. Um, and just yeah, uh, you know, but offense needs to needs to step up. But the defense, you know, what can you say, man? Like it's, it, the only thing that that I would say would would be Chris Jones. Don't be an idiot. Um, yeah, that it, is it just goes all around. They all everybody needs to be way more disciplined. But Chris Jones, Chris Jones ruined the game last year um, against the Colts for talking trash to Matt Ryan. Now it shouldn't have. I don't know if it should have been called or not, but. Um. Yeah, I, I, just just don't even put that in the officials' hands. Who uh, obviously they they were wanting to throw flags on you because I don't know. Again, the officials I felt like they missed a couple of uh, defense they uh, pass interference calls, um, holding calls because the Dolphins they were they were holding every play um, yep. on defense, and so it it's it just you know. It, it was it was it was frustrating, but like the, at the the Chris Jones uh, penalty gave the gave them uh, a touchdown, and so I I don't I love the fact that like the Chiefs, and this is what people complain about all the time, but the Chiefs invested heavily in the draft in defense, and they hit, and you can tell. Like you could tell, um, and so that I I love that I love the fact that guys like Karlofkas, guys like McDuffie, guys like Cook, all those people that they drafted, like in the last couple of years, are just there. You could yeah. So they may not have had whatever resources they put in, they put into the defense, and so you could tell because the offense, you know, yeah, they drafted. Sky Moore in the second round, um, and Rasheed Rice this year, but 
they haven't really done a whole lot uh, for their skill position players in the draft for, for several years. So um, I think they're going to focus on that more, but yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's great to see that their investment is paying off in the defense and that's what you get. You, there's a give and take there. You know, you may not, on the able, board. you may not be able to score as much, or it may not be the same style of offense, but your defense is going to be lights out. So it's, there's a give and take there. And I think the chiefs, you know, there it's it's proven out to be a winning formula right now so far. Yeah. Do you know if they covered the spread or not? What it was only like a one point difference, probably. I think. Right? I think it was what, like three? Yeah, I think they probably covered the spread because I don't think the spread was seven. Crazy. So um That's awesome. Yeah, no, like yeah, you just, you just nailed it on the head with like investment coming back and uh, the draft class, because like, yeah. These young players are just sharp, and they're setting the standards high, and they're they're kind of hitting them at the right time. And but yet, you can still see that there's still room for growth. And yeah, offense they they, they do need to figure it out, and they will. But because you you look at the stats, like they kept the number one offense to under what two hundred two hundred yards, a hundred yards maybe. Actually, I think yeah, um, was what it was, <laughs> but uh, and the offense too. Like I, a lot of it is one just erratic play calling from Andy Reid on third and short, and then uh, like the the off offensive uh, holding penalties that are just getting killed. So they yeah. need to clean that up. But um, <laughs> but yeah, no, it was a good game. Nonetheless, it was still very entertaining. Uh, good win, baby. The, the German national anthem was pretty cool. Yeah, it was. Um, it was cool. But yeah, I was uh, hoping David Hasselhoff would sing it. <laughs> that would have been sweet. Or Romstein. Oh, Romstein. Uh, Romstein. Uh, Imagine Romstein coming out there like eating each other. Right. Yeah. <laughs> or freaking uh, Dwight from The Office. Right. Um, Rasheed. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know. I'm looking at my notes. Uh, Brian Cook. Yeah. I wish they just run up the gut. I love this defense, though, man. I, I, I think the offense is frustrating, but like watching Trent McDuffie play, watching Trent McDuffie. Get that fumble against Tyree Kill was just was one of the greatest Chiefs plays of all time, and it was just Bre Veach going the chef's kiss for Jet Brett Veach right there. Yes, chest bump, man. Boom, man, uh, boom. Um, um, uh, lost receiver, but you know what? You gained a great defensive player. So, so like that McKinnon touchdown. One of the things that I thought was really cool on it, um, like when you look back at it, uh. Because, like, it was, like, a blown zone coverage thing, I think. Because, like, McKinnon went and broke it, the and the two dudes collided with each other. I was like, oh, crap. They didn't probably mean to do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Like, yeah. So, like, that's just crazy. That they, And then, like, they did have, like, a couple people get banged up in this game, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but, yeah, I thought that, like, like, I don't know how they managed to pull that off. But that was that was a really cool moment. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it was, it was a cool moment. That was a great drive. That was a really good drive. Um, you know, Sky Moore had, had a big catch there in that drive. Uh, Tony had a really good play where he, he bobbed and weaved and, and got some extra yardage after the catch. So it was it was a good uh, – it was a really good drive. Um, yeah, Sky Moore had that really good catch in the first quarter. That was cool. Little redemption. Well, yeah, I mean, he's got a long way to go, but um, he needs, they need to, yeah, I, I just, I don't know if, if they have the ability to get open, but I also, I also don't know if Andy does, like, I, I don't, I don't know if he has the right game plan for this offense. I don't know, but we'll, that's neither here, here nor there right now. Um, the, you know, the, try get back to the drawing board. It's a bye week. You know, you're seven to two. You're still the one seed. Yes, it's frustrating that like you can't, you know, like you can't do, you can't have consistency offense offensively. But again, uh, some of that is is the coach just looking at looking yourself in the mirror and going, all right, it's time for the quarterback sneaky. It's time, Andy. Yep. Yep. Um, pretty much. But yeah, uh, we're gonna be it missing so much fun football. So yeah, much. seeing him have to be humble—that was great. Well, yeah, I, I, yeah. 
they're yeah. going to be talking about this game for a while. You notice, though, too, though, like a lot of the offenses are down throughout the league. So I think the defenses just are catching up to the offenses. Um, I think that's just how it is right now. And then we'll see if that, that they, the offenses can adjust. Uh, but offenses like the, the, the Dolphins were the best offense in the league. They scored 14 points. Under 20. They should, should even not have done that. So, you know, I think the offense, offense in general is down this year. So that may play, play a factor in that. But any other thoughts on the game, man? I just excited they won. Guten Tag. Boom. Um, it was very I good. Hope, uh, I hope Travis gets on Taylor's uh, uh, tour bus there or whatever uh, and just goes and has some fun. Yeah, singing Pirates. karaoke, show tunes, mm -hmm. uh, doing cameos on. For your right to, to party. Uh, what else? What else? What are What else are your thoughts? Yeah, man. Um, get your Kansas City chicken at uh, the Jack Stack Meat Mitch near you. Yes. Ah, ah, ah. Bark, bark. But no, it was a great game. Um, yeah, that defensive score had me jumping and hooting and hollering. So that was cool. Uh, and um, go Chiefs. Go Chiefs. That's 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 all that needs to be said, man. Seven and two, and you all still think we suck. We just beat one of the best teams. We've beaten the two best teams. You you understand this, Trenton? Before the bye. They they beat the two best teams in the AFC. Yeah. The just Jaguars, forget about how the Broncos beat us. That's like the Jaguars game. and then the uh oh, we can talk about Sky Moore still fielding punts on the ten yard. I don't know what he's doing, but yeah. Uh, they have a lot to work on, on on that because they're, again, just some stupid plays. But the Chiefs still, all that being said, still, with how, how poorly they've played at times, 7-2, to they beat the two best teams in the NFL, in the league, the Jaguars, and, uh, and the Dolphins. So, uh, eat yep. it. Eat yep. it, America. Eat it yep. like it. You can like the Chiefs. You can dislike the Chiefs. You can uh, whatever Mitch said, but you're going to have to deal with the Chiefs. And you're going to have to deal with the Chiefs. Later the free. Home of the uh, Chiefs. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Boom, baby. Now, yeah. wait, now that, that, it, here, here's the thing is that the Chiefs are set up for home field advantage in the playoffs. Again. God willing. But yeah, I think that everything they like, uh, have not. Right uh, Patrick Mahomes has not played a road playoff game in his career. It's looking good, but yeah, um, I think Germany was a success. Probably see more of these things happening. I don't know what the plan for expansion is over there, but um, it was cool to get to see them go crazy. Uh, the Bunker didn't even have to kick a field goal. No. Game. No, I would. Uh, you know, there's times where I was. It would have been nice, but uh, but the the drives stalled out. But uh, yeah. again, officiating. The Chiefs there. looked like they were in control. They did. They did. I thought so good. too. I thought so That's too. And and then uh, that last play, fourth and ten, and uh, Mr. Clutch to a tuck of uh, turn the ball over. Um, fumbles the snap, dude. Fumbles so the funny. snap. Tua turned the ball all over. That's funny. Yeah. I've never heard that. That's oh yeah, no, they 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 they've called, they they've called him. But I I I actually have a lot of respect for Tua. I actually like Mike McDaniel too. I do the too. Only yeah, one, cool. The only one on the on the Dolphins that I really do not like is Tyree Kill, and it's just because he's thrown so much shade at the Chiefs, the Chiefs organization since he's left. And the reason I I don't know why because the only reason that Tyree Kill is where he is at in this league. It's because Andy Reid gave him a chance when nobody else would and stuck by him when everybody else wanted him cut. And, uh, you know, so I, you know what? Whatever. Uh, you're not, not love. you're not, yeah, a he's just using it to boost his brand, but yeah, that's kind of, I don't know. I, don't, I would never do that personally. No, no, you're not going to talk trash about uh, yeah. a team that gave you your opportunity is where you're at today. So, uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, to, to, uh, to a fumbles to snap. 
fourth and ten. And the Chiefs come away victorious. Sunday, Sunday, Woo! Sunday. White 80. White 80. I did hear Mahomes say white and blue 80, so it was a good game. Um, yeah. All in all. But, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. All right, man. All right, dude. Uh, yeah, well, uh, till next time, man. We'll meet up. We'll talk about uh, And if you want, uh, we can watch the game together. My church is having a uh, – the the a chili cook off for the Eagles game. Okay, so I'll invite you to that, and then we can do like maybe chili. like a live podcast after that. Have some chili Chiefs burgers. Yeah, delicious. All right, delicious. That sounds man. awesome, man. Yeah. So uh, so let's uh, we'll we'll uh, hit you. We'll hit up after that game. Uh, I may uh, if we have, if something ever comes up, we may do another reaction video or whatever. Yeah, uh, we'll but yeah, dude. Uh. And uh, to all the folks on YouTube, let us know in the comments below if you think it's weird to eat cinnamon rolls and chili, because I love that. Whoa! I mean, that sounds delicious, uh, but together? Yeah, I'll, like, I'll like rip the bread off, just kind of dip it in there. Oh, right okay, now. yeah. But yeah, no, it's good. Meat and sweet. I don't know, some people think it's weird, but it's a thing. It's a thing? I've never heard I of it. I like it. I don't know, we just always had cinnamon rolls I've and heard, chili growing up in school. I, I I can't eat like I love uh saltine crackers and and chili. That's that's what I grew up with. I kind of prefer tortilla chips to be honest with you. But yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know what I hate though? Skyline chili. <laughs> I haven't tried it, but like no, you know, I guess it could kind of be good just noodles and chili. Why not? Yeah, it's it's disgusting because Ch Cincinnati sucks. Uh I think if you put enough salt pepper in anything, it'll be all right. Oh, uh, that's true. Yeah. Heck well, yeah, man. Fun. Add a little bit of salt and pepper into it, you're fine. Uh, yeah. All right, that. but until next time. Dreaming. Until next time, dolphin, fin down. <laughs> That's right, buddy. That's right. Let's Eat ride. it, like it, take it. Let's, let's, let's ride. Let's ride. <laughs>